this is all the contents of my daily backpack. And you're thinking to yourself, Aaron, what's this all about? Well, have you ever seen a brand or a product and it kind of just kept popping up at you everywhere you went? Well, that's what happened with me and Nomadic. Everywhere I went, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, this backpack was showing up in my feet. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, these guys have some pretty amazing marketing. But at the same time, I would look at the little videos and think, wow, that's an amazing looking backpack. My backpack of choice for the past year, year and a half has been this. Now this is gorgeous. It's a hundred percent leather. It's high end. It's stuck up. It's Louis Vuitton. It's over $3,000 for a backpack is what it is. And that's not a joke. But for that price, what are you paying for? You're paying for a name brand, you're paying for all leather, and you're paying for status. Let's be real. People see the bag. Hey, nice bag. Hey, great bag. Where'd you get it? People ask all sorts of questions. They notice it. But was it functional? Well, it only has, first of all, it only has two pockets. That's it. But when it comes to organization, all it has on the inside is a laptop sleeve and a more larger spot up front. Can't really do much with this. No organization at all. So when I started seeing this nomadic brand everywhere, this backpack all over my socials, I started thinking, am I missing out? Is there something better for me that I wasn't aware of? So I decided to reach out to them and say, hey, let me check out that backpack. And they were like, sounds like a great idea. So I want to go through with you and share with you my real world review. I didn't just unbox this yesterday and I'm throwing a review video out. I've literally been using this as my daily backpack driver. I said it, I did, I said it. For the past few weeks and I've loved it. I wanna highlight some of the amazing features, what I find useful about it and what I don't like about it. I wanted to be fair and only highlight and show you guys what I use in my backpack daily as I'm going around my life to and from work here, there, and everywhere. I didn't want to just jam pack it full of crap just so I can show you how much is in there. I want to show you my real world use of this backpack. Now for all you tech people out there, you're thinking, is this a tech backpack? And I'm going to say, absolutely. And what I feel makes it a tech backpack and sticks out above other backpacks is all the different little spots that you can put things. Let me show you this 15 inch MacBook pro easily fits in there and has a little flap that goes over it to add some added protection in case it happens to fall or you drop it. You got a little flap to put over your backpack. So there's protected 13 inch iPad pro. Again, you pull this out, you take it, you put it in there and it has this little flap that goes over it. But it also has like a built in what I call a file cabinet, not a real file cabinet, but it's a place to put your papers. I get mail. I hate mail. Carry it around until I'm really bored and I know I got to do something with it. So all the stuff that doesn't make it into the trash makes it in there. And when I'm at work, I usually sort through it later. And it's got a little right there, little Velcro. This is a little nomadic, really cute, really simple, really easy. This is a lock and key from another one of my higher end backpacks. I probably paid <laughs> 500 bucks just for this to have a stuck up label put on it, but I use it to lock my bag when I travel and I keep the key on my pocket. So you take that, you put it in there, it stays in place. That's what I like the most about this backpack. Everything I put in here stays in place. It doesn't move around. Here are my Sony headphones. Go right there to the info card. Ding! if you want to check out information on these. So that just goes in there nice and easy. This is a sunglass case that came with the backpack and you put them in your bag. How genius. Great job, Nomadic. If you have a newer MacBook Pro, you have dongles in your life. Dongles fit nice and easy right here. 
because there is this mesh and this elastic on the top, they stay in place. I'm not saying they can't fall out if the bag drops, but everything stays right where I put it. And that's what I love the most about this bag. Got some wipes for a clean getaway if you're out in public. You know what I mean. This is my Logitech MX Master. Again, an absolute must if you use a MacBook Pro or Final Cut because it makes going through that timeline buttery easy. Thank you. Here are my checkbooks. I gotta pay bills. You gotta pay bills. It's part of adulting. I don't like to do it, but I recognize it needs to be done if I wanna keep things like power on in the house. Right in there for the lips and for the hands, easily accessible. Anything that I need, really easy and quick. I keep up there so I don't got to dig in here. Next is the front pocket, which is like my favorite pocket because this is where I keep the things that I go to pretty frequently. Got a pen holder in the middle there. So that's, that's pretty deep. It's pretty big. You can get a lot of stuff in there. This one is RFID safe, which means if you're traveling and you have to easily throw your wallet in there, it's going to protect it from people scanning and stealing your crap. Now these at the end, I want to show you because they have like this, this magnetic end. Look at that. See, it's like magnetic. I like to put my energy packets in there along with my eyeglass wipes. The other thing I want to show you that I find extremely useful is when I'm getting out of my car and I've got all the stuff in my seat and around me. I got all these phones, all these gadgets, and I got to bring it in the house. What I really like is knowing that my cell phone is safe and secure and easily accessible. I like to pick my phone and put it in one of the side pockets and it just fits there nice and neat. Now it's not able to do the magnetic thing on top of it, but it holds the phone in place really, really well. And as long as I keep the bag upright and don't turn it over, there's no fear of the phone falling. Watch this. So you zip it down all the way over, boom, right? You might think, oh, that's not a lot, Aaron. Oh, look at that. It's like, it increases it by like 25% and it goes all the way up and all your good stuff floats down there. And truth be told, that's usually how I keep the bag all the time because I also will carry different shoes with me or a change in a shirt. Cause I live in Florida and it gets hot and gross and sweaty. Sometimes you just gotta put on a, a fresh undershirt or a fresh t-shirt if you're out there doing stuff and it's gross. So it works out really, really well for me. The portability, the functionality, the usability, the comfortability, the ability of this bag is phenomenal. There's a chance I might not buy another brand of backpack again in my whole entire life. That is how much I have fallen in love with this bag. I want you to fall in love with this bag too. Look them up on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, Nomadic. They make other versions. They make a bigger one that can hold even more stuff. They make some cool duffels. They make all sorts of things. If you wanna check out their website, I'll put a link in the description. Check it out, see what you like. This very well might be the last backpack I ever use. And for that, I'm really grateful. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you found this information helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you absolutely hated the video, please give it a thumbs down, but then change your mind and decide to give it a thumbs up anyways, because thumbs up are so much nicer than thumbs down. If you really like the channel, or maybe you wanna see more of me in the future, consider subscribing. It's not a requirement, a simple request. For the love of tech, thanks for watching. Enjoy this backpack. Till next time. Namaste.